I think something that everybody tries to do at one point or another in their lives is to whistle. Mind you, some people never actually get the hang of it, but if you can whistle, it's very satisfying to be able to produce all kinds of tunes. But you've got to be good if you want to whistle as well as Mrs. Jean Didcot from Drayton. Just listen to this. dog on there as well. Yep. Uh, are you out of breath with all that whistling? No, not really. Yeah, very nice was that. But this trophy I'm holding, uh, you might think Mrs. Ditcock got for her whistling, but in fact she got it for playing football. Mrs. Ditcock plays for the Drayton ladies team and they got this trophy uh, for being runners-up in the semi-final. Um, how long have you been playing football now, Jean? Just over a year now. And what position do you play? Centre forward. Are you good? Uh, do you score lots of goals? Not many, no. I've got a few in the pot, but I try and lay them on for Oh, I see. Now, uh, when, when do you play? Every Sunday afternoon. Where, when's your next game, then? This Sunday, we're away to Newbury. Are you going to win? I hope so. Come here. Are you tough, you ladies? Uh... Oh, we have our moments. You do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we, we've heard about your, your football now, but what about your whistling? When did you start? I was about 12 years old when I made my first wolf whistle then. That was at the lads, was it? That was it? at the lads, yeah. <laughs> How did it go on from there? Um, well, I didn't do much from them, actually. Not until a couple of talent contests recently I entered. Yeah. Where, where was this? One at Wantage and one at Lambourne. And how did, how did you do in your Well, time? I came first at Wantage and well, third at Lambourne. Well, I'm not surprised to hear that after hearing you whistle in, uh, in a monastery garden. Uh, would you whistle for me again? I would love to. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, uh, down here I've got a, a record on a record player. Uh, so when you're ready, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Right, well, this is Russ Conway, and don't put your nose in here, Shep, because it's birthday cake. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Didcock. That was great. Mrs. Uh, Didcock's next big event is on the 25th of November, actually, at Lambourne. Yes, it's going to be judged by Ronnie Corbett, so we're all keeping our fingers crossed for Mrs. Didcock, and we wish her the best of luck. Yes, we do.